This is HP ProBook 640G1 and today we're going to install Windows in UEFI format. So we're going to change a couple of settings in BIOS and we'll reinstall either Windows 10 or 11, does not matter, the procedure same. So first thing, switch it off and on. And while you switch on, keep pressing F10 to get into BIOS. Sometimes it takes a couple of attempts because the time is really sensitive, you need to keep pressing rapidly. As you can see, I tried a couple of times. So press ESC once, and that is the main screen. So now we need to get into advanced option. How are you gonna get it? If you press the right arrow, it's gonna take you directly to advanced. And as you can see, the advanced option is highlighted. And now, if you press enter, we can get into the sub menu. So as you can see, it says boot. Hit enter. Now we're going to get into secure boot option to enable it. So here you can see there is option secure boot. We need to activate or enable it. Once we're done, pretty much that's all. And we can save these changes. Once we save it and exit it, the system is gonna restart. And while we restart, we need to keep pressing F9 to get into temporary boot option. From here, we're gonna choose the USB boot is the first priority so that the BIOS can load up from USB Windows installer, as you can see the top option. Now it's going to read the USB and take us to the Windows setup. By the way, if you don't know how to create bootable Windows 10 or 11 installer, you can check the video link would be in the description. So in this stage, it's going to take a couple of minutes, which is not surprising because the actual speed depend on how fast is your USB and also your computer system all right so it seems like everything stuck nothing is happening but in the background it's processing all the files and folders so if you do have any flashlight on your USB then you're gonna see it's blinking means it's something happening in the background So this is the main page. We need to select the language region and hit next. Install now. We need to accept the terms and condition. Choose the internal storage where you would like to install the windows. It's going to ask for Windows serial key if you do have. If you don't have, you can skip it. And here is the multiple choice for my one. So I choose one of them, accept the terms and condition, hit next. Now, if you'd like to clean installation, you need to select the bottom, which is called custom. And now the main process already begin. So it's going to take like 10 to 15 minutes to finalize everything. So we're going to fast forward the video to make the actual tutorial shorter. And we'll see at the end if that is successful or not. So finally it's done, the UEFI Windows installation was successful and still if you do have any question, leave it in the comment section. Thank you.